Happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, so here we are, um, our first week, our first full day of school at home. Um, Jenny and Mary Kate are plugging away in the other room, doing the things as best they can. Jenny's a little overwhelmed, which I'm sure um, multiple kids are right now. A lot of our friends are probably going, ah, that's a lot of stuff. But um, take it day by day one piece of whatever at a time and do what you have to. Since it is Wednesday, I would love to do a short class tonight, today. Um, I would love for you to um, just sit down for a minute and um, watch this video um, and uh, follow through with everybody's got paper, everybody's got pencils or crayons or whatever in their home. Um, and take a second to do a picture for me for class tonight. Um, as we approach Easter, um, tonight's lesson was meant to be on the cross. Um, and normally in class, we would have a much more intense um, lesson about the cross, about the intensity of what Christ went through. Um, but I don't feel that that is where we need to go right now. Um, we need to comfort our kids and tell them, hey, this is just a thing. It'll be fine. And um, so, um, take a few minutes, sit down, talk about the cross. Talk about what it means, what it means to you as a parent, what it means to your kids. Um, I tend to get emotional on this one, so sorry. Um, to focus on what it means. What does it mean to you? Um you know, talk through it with your kids. And then these kids know what to do. They've done this before. Um, take a few minutes. Um, get a piece of paper, get a pencil, get crayons, um, and draw your rendition of the cross. Moms, if you want to participate, that would be fabulous. That would be wonderful. Sit down and do it with them. Um, what is your interpretation of the cross? Now, does it have to have a person on it? Sometimes we talk about that. Um, we have had people, um, kids draw Christ on the cross. You can do that. That's fine because that's what we're focusing on this week. Um, next week we'll do a lesson again and it'll be, um, moving forward in the Easter story. Um, but for this week it will be the cross. Um, talk about, um, it doesn't have to be intense. John 3.16. That's your easy go. Um. But I really want them to maintain um, that thought process because we have to support our spiritual lives while we are supporting our educational lives and our health life and all this kind of stuff. Um, we got to keep this up too because um, it's important to maintain that focus. So um, if you would, please, I would love it. Send me pictures. Do your rendition of the cross. Draw it how you want it to be. And even if it's just a stick cross, um, with our little ones. That's fantastic. Um, because people are encouraged by the posts. Um, they enjoy looking at them every week and I would like to maintain that as much as we can. So you can send me back, um, pictures on this, on my messaging, um, or through text messaging, however you receive the video. Um, but please send me the pictures, let them do it. Let them take that few minutes, sit down, talk about it. What does it mean? Um, and I look forward to hearing from all of you. Um, hang in there, moms. Hang in there, kids. We can do this. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.